connect the washer to the water source. Connect the normal garden hose right to the inlet fitting, making sure that the valve is shut. Next, place the drainage hose into the suitable location. Although not required, you may now insert the soap pickup tube into the proper soap dispenser. Once all necessary connections have been made, you can now plug your washer into the power source. Once plugged in, make sure all connections are away from any water. Begin by rolling the hose out left of the washer with the male end facing the washer. Set the indexing pins to where the hose will line up with the middle of the hose brush. Remove one indexing pin and set the hose into the hole, replacing the indexing pin when done. Feed the hose underneath the first hose brush wheel, making sure to clear the bottom set of hose jets. Feed the hose over the top of the second hose wheel brush underneath the hose jets. Finally, feed it into the powered wheel system. Feed the hose through the rear door, making sure to stay directly in the middle of the powered wheel system. While keeping the hose directly in the middle of the hose rollers, lower the locking lever down onto the hose and lock it securely into place. Begin by shutting the door, making sure that the lip seals over the gasket. Place an appropriate drying rack outside the washer to accept the hose once completed. With the door securely shut, you may now turn on the water supply. Note, it is normal that water will flow from the jets once turned on. With the water on, you may now start the washer. Hose will automatically be fed out of the washer. As the hose begins to come out of the washer, begin to place it on the appropriate drying rack. For this demo, we are using the ReadyRack MHD42 drying rack. This rack also will conveniently fit into the ReadyRack PPE gear hose dryer. To load the MHD42, lay the hose over the top of the drying rack, pulling the hose through each subsequent location in such a manner to optimize the drying capability of the rack. Shut off the washer as the female coupling enters to prevent damage. Begin by tilting the rack back towards you. Push the rack into the dryer, making sure that all casters clear the doorways. Start by shutting the left door first, and then while holding the latch open, shut the right, locking the doors. To begin drying in the cabinet, first select your hours, minutes of desired drying time, along with your temperature, and push the convenience start button. If you wish to stop the dryer before the drying time is up, just hit the stop button. To remove the drying rack from the dryer, open up the latch on the right hand door, swinging both doors wide enough to clear the rack on exit. Note, the drying rack will be hot when removing. Clear behind you and gently pull the rack out, making sure it does not fall. With the drying rack removed, you can now move it over and prepare it for rolling and storage. If you have any questions about your Ready Rack hose washer, feel free to contact us at 800-991-2120 or readyrack.com.